What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Playmaker Way, Way with the Playbook. And y'all read the title, man, How to Identify the Trend and Trend Reversals. If this is your first time on the channel, man, welcome. I appreciate you giving this video a chance. But go ahead and hit that bell and sub button because we don't just post informational content like this weekly, but we live trade and live stream every day, London Session 3 and EST on the same channel. I also have a free signal room, free telegram. Is linked to my Instagram bio is the first link of every one of my YouTube videos. Both of those are linked to my TikTok bio. This is how we're doing so far today. Literally just called this trade live on this morning stream. And then as far as how we did last week, we went 10-1, giving us a 91% win rate, catching 55,844 pips. Every trade posted has my personal entry, SL, TPs, time the trade was posted, how many people viewed or entered the trade, reactions, and of course those TPs getting hit. Now let's go ahead and get into this video. Now, the first thing I suggest to do to identify the trend is go on the bigger time frames because the bigger time frames are going to hold more true. Price moves on a day by day, week by week, month by month basis. So we need to go on the bigger time frame to see the direction price has been going for the week, the month, and the year. So we can have a higher chance of probability of if we enter going in that direction, price going our way and of course catching those pips. Now there's only three formations i don't care what youtube video watched i don't care who you saw on social media there's only three true chart formations that is the uptrend which consists of higher highs higher lows and then there's the downtrend which consists of lower lows lower highs and then there's the other thing where price is neither going up or down but kind of arranging in place that's called consolidation people call it a sideways market or just choppiness levels of traffic whatever people also call it liquidity it's all the same thing, just different words. All the same thing, tomato, tomato. In order to identify the trend, you first need to know how to identify lows and highs. So it's pretty simple, right? Red candlesticks are red. Red candlesticks means price is going down. Green candlesticks means price is going up. So we know when price is on the move, it makes highs and lows or lows and highs. We need to train and identify our eyes to mark up the charts and read the charts this way. OK, so the first thing you need to do to kind of see what direction price is going is zoom out. And OK, so price is going down. So we're kind of clearly in a downtrend. But again, I want you all to train your eyes to map out the charts like this. Here is the low. Here is the lower high. Here's the lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Got a little choppy here. Lower low. Here's that consolidation level of traffic ranging this. Then price started to make a move again. Made a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. And now we're right here. Okay. So in order to tell that the trend is still continuing, the lows need to be taken out. So this was the previous low because you see price went this low. Then it retraced back up. And then guess what happened? Price broke that low. And then what happened after that? The downtrend continued. Now we see the low, lower low. And now we see price retesting. So what do we need to see for price to show us the first sign that we might see a reversal coming into play? The first sign we need to see is these lows getting taken out. So this is our previous low. Excuse me, we need to see our highs get taken out, our lower highs. So this was our lower high right here. Did it get taken out? Yes. So now that this got taken out, what we need to do is look for a retest. Okay. And you're seeing what I'm doing with these levels. I'm helping you marking out the support resistance levels because the support resistance levels will help you read the charts a lot better too. If you're ever confused or don't know how to mark out support resistance levels, go ahead and watch this video right here then come back to this one. All right. So if price treats this level as support and continues to push up and takes out these lows. Then we can see a reversal come into play. But if price rejects this level and pushes back down to the downside, we can see the downtrend continue. So let's see what happens. OK, price is pushing up and look, look at that. It rejected this level. So again, this was the low, lower high, lower low. Price tried to make the lower high here, failed to make a lower low, pushed back, retested this level, pushed up a little bit, 
hit the next lower high. Hey, what happened? Rejected that level and came back to the previous lower low. So, like I said, if price rejects this level and pushes back below, we can see the downtrend continue. So, let's see what happens. Look at that. All right. So, it retested, treat that level as resistance, then drops back down. So, that is what you want to look for. So, on the short term, because we are in the daily time frame, when price broke above this level, you could have went for some buys there because it, it broke the it broke the lows, it broke the downtrend, so it was a temporary reversal. But it didn't break the next low and next high to the left, and it dropped back down. And not only did it drop back down, but it treated the support level back into a resistance, which showed us that the downtrend and bearish momentum was still strong in play. So now let's go back on the daily time frame and let's play it out a little bit. All right, look, then it made a new lower low. And now look, we zoom out and now we're back in the downtrend, back in the bearish momentum. So we had a slight reversal. Price rejected that, retested his low, pushed back, retested. And now we're back making lower lows, lower highs. And now look, we're back in a downtrend. We change it to lines. Look, same exact thing, but obviously we're not going to train off lines. We need to see the candlesticks, but this shows you a literally what we mapped out reading the candlesticks. So that's how you need to train your eyes to read the charts and the flow of price. Also, if you have bar replay, that's a game changer as well. That's going to help y'all out. Definitely take advantage of that if you have the paid trading view. Let's identify an uptrend and show the signs of when an uptrend is going to continue pushing or we might see a reversal. So we're on NAS 100, the NASDAQ, US 100, wherever you're from, however you call it. And again, we can see prices overall going up, so we can assume we're in the uptrend. But again, I want y'all to train your eyes to map these levels out. Here's the high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Little retest here, slight retracement. Again, what are the rules to show that the downtrend might start and the reversal might start? It's got to take out the higher lows to the left. So where was that higher low? Let's get the higher low was right here. Okay, because again, look. Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, pump up. So this is the higher high. This is the previous higher low into the higher high. Price failed to make a higher high here. So this isn't the higher low, right? Then look, price retested this level, treating this level as a strong support, which is a good sign. Look, bounce, continue to treat this level as support. Then what happened? The uptrend went back in its business as usual. Again, we saw in the gold one that it broke underneath. I mean, it broke above showing the reversal. Then when it did the retest, it dropped back, continuing the downtrend. This one, on the other hand, never broke below. And as you can see, the upwards momentum continued. Okay, rewind the video if y'all need to. Rewind the video if y'all need to, because sometimes you got to watch this stuff a few times until it clicks. I'm speaking from experience. Now that we saw that sign, let's look right here. Price nice and bullish. Let's play. Boom. All right, let's pause it right there. So right here was the previous higher low. Higher high, higher low, higher high, double, double low. Price pushed up higher high. Let's see what happens next. Look, struggle to make a new higher high. Made a higher low. Let's see if it's going to take out this high. Now, to see if the uptrend is going to continue, another thing, this works on the downtrend as well. Another sign you can look for is, again, this is the higher high. So let's mark this off. Let's see if price can break that higher high. Let's see what happens. Rejects that level. All right. Pushed above. You see that? This was the higher high. What comes after the higher high? Higher low. Higher high. Struggle. Tried it one more time. Pushed to broke above. But we see the upwards momentum still coming into play. Let's see what happens next. All right. So what comes next? Higher high. Higher low. Higher high. No. Equal high. Came back to this... <coughs> Came back to the previous higher low and the support resistance level. 
you zoom in, you can see how it literally tapped this level and it's rejecting up. Let's see what happens next. Let's see if it breaks below. Again, remember, if it breaks below this level, we can see a possible reversal. But if it continues to hold this level, we can see the upwards momentum come back into play, especially if it takes out these uh, equal highs right here. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Price retested. Strong's resistance again. That's when you would have went for a sell. Now let's keep playing. Look at that. And that's where price is at currently. All right. And this is where price is at currently. So this was the Wednesday, the 23rd of August. So y'all remember we was nice and bearish on NAS. Matter of fact, I can show you how we even enter these trades. Bam. We caught daily candlestick after daily candlestick. And look before that, we was catching these buys. Daily candlestick after daily candlestick. Higher low, enter for buys again, enter for buys again. Look, enter the buys here. Then when price reversed, failed to make a higher high. Look, that's why I went for those sales just like I showed y'all. And if you think we didn't go for these sales, I can show y'all right now. So that was August 15th and 16th. So we're in an advanced place signal room right now. So let's go to uh, 15th and 16th. Look at this, the 15th, I called this sell. Look at that entry, going to 15th, you want to double check that. Look at that, TP5 got hit, final TP got hit. Took another NAS sell on the 18th, look at that date, that was Thursday, I mean, that was Friday the 18th. So, I'm telling you, this is how I trade. We caught that reversal, we caught the buys, and we caught the sells early. It's that simple, y'all. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Comment down below any questions, comments, concerns you may have. Make sure to hit that first link in the description to join a free signal room, free telegram. If you're interested in learning how to mark up these levels yourself, join the Advanced Play Signal Room. And I also provide one-on-one -on -one sessions. You get access to the Advanced Play Signal Room as well as two sessions a week that are an hour long. Those sessions are recorded and sent to you same day. Those are yours to keep. If you have any questions about that, or if you want to contact me directly, DM me on Instagram at playmaker underscore way. I respond to all messages. Make sure to hit that follow button as well. And I'll see y'all in the next video or the next live stream. Peace. We out.